To help you with the image selection process in Capture One, you can either tag images with a color, or you can also add a rating. What those color tags and ratings mean, of course, is entirely up to you. Images can be rated in different ways. The five dots are under the image in the viewer and also in the browser represent an empty rating. So in this case, the rating is currently zero. To change the rating of an image, you can either right click on the image itself, choose rating, and then a star rating, or you can click on the stars itself, either in the viewer or in the browser itself. Alternatively, you can hit a number key on your keyboard from zero to five, uh, which corresponds to the star rating. Like ratings, color tags can also be applied in a similar way. Once again, by right clicking on the image itself in the viewer or the browser and choosing color tag and then selecting a color tag or by clicking on the colored square in the viewer or in the browser and choosing the color tag or once again by using a keyboard shortcut. For example, plus on the default keyboard shortcut set will apply the green color tag. As another example, minus will apply the red color tag. Don't forget if you select multiple images and use the keyboard shortcuts, then you can apply the same color tag and rating to any of the images in your selection. If you want to change the default shortcuts for adding color tags and ratings, simply find the Edit Keyboard Shortcuts menu and define your own shortcuts here. You'll find rating and color tags in the Adjustments category. When selecting more than one image at a time, the selection of images becomes a temporary set for as long as they're selected. This makes it possible to select, for example, four images at a time to compare them and only apply color tag or rating to one of them. Now, for this to work fluidly, you have to make sure that Edit All Selected Variants is disabled. You can do that in the menu here or also from the icon in the toolbar. This simply means that if I apply a color tag, then it's only going to happen to my primary selected image. So in this case for my first set, I can use the cursor keys to highlight one of the four images at a time and perhaps apply a green tag uh, to mark the image that I want to keep. The default shortcut key is Alt and the right cursor arrow to move to the next set of images. Now as the first set was four images, the next set will also be four images. Then I can use my cursor keys once more and perhaps pick one or two out of this set again by using a color tag. Or of course, I could use a star rating as well. As I continue to go through sets, Capture One will just pick up four images every time I advance. And when I go backwards using Alt left cursor key, then we simply scroll back through images of four in a set like so. One way to filter images is to use the Filters tool in the Library tool tab. This tool lets you filter on images in your current collection, so that could be a folder, an album, or a favorite. Any filter can be enabled by clicking it. So example, if I click on the green radio button here, the browser view simply shows me only green tagged images. If I want to combine filters, for example, the green color tag and a five star rating, I can command click or control click and those filters will be combined. In the filters tool sub menu, you can decide if all the criteria should be matched in this case. So that means images have to have a green color tag and five stars, or we can turn that off and then it will be a green color tag or a five star. The default setting is for the results to match all the criteria. Also found in the tool sub menu is the ability to add or remove the current filters in use in the filters tool. So if we choose show hide filters, a complete list of all the possible filters is shown and they can simply be added to the filters tool by marking the checkbox. To clear your current filters, simply click on the X in the search bar. Another way to filter collections of images is with a smart album. The contents of a smart album is dynamically updated based on the criteria you set. 
Smart albums are also created in the library tool either in your catalog or session. In a session you'll find it under session albums and in a catalog in the user collections area. To make a new smart album click on the plus and choose smart album. Give the smart album a name. In this case we have one which is five star and green tag. Then we simply build the search criteria for our smart album. So in this case we're going to have the rating must equal five stars and the color tag is green. Again, like we saw in the filters tool, you can either choose to match all of the criteria or any of the criteria. Now simply click OK. The Smart Album is created and shown in the Session Albums area here, in this case in our session, and clicking on that will show our filtered result. Now of course anything else that matches that criteria in the future will be shown in the Smart Album.